I'm Rob with Precision Zone, and today we're going to go over a basic test that you can do in your facility to see if your AC spindle motor may be, may be grounded. A couple alarms that you could get are ground fault or overcurrent alarms. This could lead you to kind of think, well, hey, maybe I have a grounding problem. So the first thing that we do before we perform any maintenance is we power off the machine and we secure the power to the main circuit breaker. Now, before we get started, let's verify that the power has actually been turned off. So we're gonna take our Hioki meter here, digital multimeter, and we're gonna set it to AC volts. And we're gonna check between U and V, U and W, and V and W to verify that we don't have anything higher than a volt, which we don't. So that means it's safe to disconnect the cable from the drive. Now it's very important we unhook the cable from the drive because if we were to make, make this cable while it was still connected to the drive, we would damage the drive and that would just be one more problem you have to deal with. So with the cable disconnected, we're going to go ahead and hook our ground clamp to the ground cable and the, the ground wire in the cable and then we'll check U and then we're grounded there and we're grounded at W so we know we have a problem so we need to keep troubleshooting to figure out whether it's the cable or the motor. So once you open up the junction box you'll see either you have UVW, UVW ZXY that might be connected in with UVW or you'll have a six, six connections UVW ZXY. If you have the six connections You'll have to look at how to make your cable in a future video because your cable goes through a selecting contactor and you'll check that a little bit different way. But now it's time to check the motor. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and check the motor. So we'll hook the, our ground clamp up to the motor and we'll verify that we have a good ground by touching the frame and we do. So then we'll go to U and we know U is grounded. Um, anything less than 300 mega ohms with the motor at ambient air temperature is going to be cause that we're going to ask you to send a repair so we can get a full evaluation done on the motor and see what the problem is. So now that we know we have a problem with the motor, let's double check the cable to see if we have a cable problem at two. So with the leads not touching on one end, go ahead and hook the ground clamp up and we'll check UVW with the maker and it looks like we have over a thousand volts on the cable so there's absolutely nothing wrong with our cable and we know that we have a problem with our motor so thanks for watching this video we hope it helped if you have any more questions you can call the number on the screen or contact us at precisionzone.com uh, we offer free evaluations and 12-month warranties on all our motor repairs. Thanks for watching.